What's up, y'all? Welcome to Epiphany Tarot. I'm here to do another reading. I'm going to tap in with Cancer. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. We're going to tap in Cancer. Okay. Uh, cancer. Here we go with this weird ass energy. Um, Cancer, look. I don't know why every time I do your reading, like this weird ass King of Swords reverse keeps coming out in your energy. Like it never fucking feels every time. Like, like Cancer, I don't fucking know who this person is. This King of Swords reverse is a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius person here who is like, I don't know, like. This is giving me that energy of that one reading that I did to y'all that had got real creepy. Like, I don't know if you're like figuring out. I feel like Pandora's box has been opened here. I feel like you're seeing another side to somebody that you didn't see before. Hopefully, I mean, just protect yourself, stay dangerous, stay vigilant cancer like i don't know who this person is but it's a side to them that is like very like i don't know somebody here is like crazy or like a psychopath like somebody out here has serious mental health issues like we got the king of swords reverse the five of swords the page of swords reverse and the ten of swords that is a lot of air energy like this is like heavy Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy, whoever this person is, like, it could be a male or female, uh, even though it's the king of swords reverse, it definitely could be a man for sure, or a masculine energy, but shit, this could be a woman in masculine energy, um, but somebody is very aggressive, they're very cynical, very pessimistic, this is somebody who doesn't trust anyone, um, they feel like no human can be trusted, it's just like humanity is is people aren't shit. People can't be trusted. But this is somebody who's a pathological liar themselves. Um, and I feel like this person, they're like not coping with something really well. This person may be blaming you or feel like you're responsible for something or why something ended in their life. Um, they could be really bad, bad mouthing you um a really bitchy energy like really playing the victim just telling lies and just i don't know somebody's not coping with an ending here very well they're not coping with some sort of ending um i feel like this person could be in trouble with the law as well it's like something is not going in their favor in regards to a, a situation in regards to justice this person may also, you may be finding out that this person is connected to some type of crime. Um, it could be, it could be murder, it could be rape, uh, robbery. You could be finding out that this person is connected to something like that. Um, but let's get into these cards. Let me show you what I got. So we got karma out here. It's Saturn energy, Capricorn energy. So it could be a Capricorn significant, but it doesn't have to be. Um, but yeah, I feel like karma is really spinning the block on a motherfucker, okay? Yeah, because some sort of truth is out. <clears throat> karma with the Ace of Swords. Now, I feel like if you're Cancer, I don't know what side of this shit you're on, but if you're a Divine Feminine here, because I do have a Divine Feminine out here, I feel like you're protected from this energy. I feel like with the Seven of Wands here, you block this person out or you rejected this person in the nick of time. Uh, seven of wands is protection like you said some sort of boundary you rejected this person you said no you you blocked them um before this person got too close or you got too involved with them i feel like somebody else here with their ten of swords here uh let this person get too close to them i feel like or this could be you cancer you let this weird ass motherfucker get too close to you like somebody out here is strange they're weird they're crazy it's like something about them is like off. Um, but let's let's get to this. There's some type of truth being exposed with Saturn and the Ace of Swords here. Some type of clarity or truth or 
something here is being exposed about someone. The truth about someone is being exposed here. Or the truth in regards to somebody's involvement in something is being exposed here. Then we got the Queen of Pentacles. This is the Divine Feminine. So some of you, um, Cancer, well, I don't know why my hand is itching all of a sudden. I don't know what that means. When your left hand starts itching, my palm is itching like really bad. I don't know what the fuck that means, but yeah, we got a Queen of Pentacles here. So this is somebody, this is the divine feminine energy. It could be earth sign in Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or Cancer. You got earth placements in your chart. Um, you could be really grounded right now. Uh, this queen of pentacles in this deck gives me like really witchy vibes. This could be somebody who wears natural hairstyles or they can have locks. Or this is somebody who likes to wear a lot of rings and shit on their hand. Or you could like a lot of gold jewelry. Some, somebody can have their septum pierced as well. This right here. This could also be somebody who likes to drink wine or they like to sip wine. I feel like it's a, a divine feminine out here. But look, it's like it's like a really smug look. It's like this divine feminine is happy that somebody is being exposed or the truth is coming out about somebody. Or that somebody is getting some sort of karma. Okay? It's like she she's like finally... You know what I'm saying? Or about time. Or she feels like somebody is getting what they deserve. Whatever this is. Because like I said, the overall energy is the Ten of Swords. Ooh. And look right behind that is the fucking devil in the goddamn judgment. Ooh wee. Yeah. Somebody's ancestors is fucking somebody up. I'm talking about ripping their life the fuck apart. Like, there's no coming back for this. And then the Ten of Swords with the judgment. Mm, somebody could have sold their soul or... Yeah, because you see how somebody's writing on this contract. Somebody signed their soul over to the devil here. Again, Capricorn energy with the judgment. Yeah, somebody may lose their life with judgment and the devil and the ten of swords. It's like somebody has some karma so bad that it's like the only way they can pay off this karmic debt is by paying with their life. Like the devil here is to is is here to collect. The devil is waiting on payment from somebody out here. And I feel like they're losing their mind because they don't know what to do. Like, this could be a lover turned enemy cancer. Like I said, this could be somebody who's blaming you. Or they feel like you're at fault for something here. Because the Ten of Swords is, is, is ruined. It's collapsed. It could be like a nervous breakdown. Somebody's not coping with something well at all. Um... They feel betrayed, backstabbed. This is somebody who's really playing the victim here. It's like they keep telling these lies or they keep trying to, like, it's this hostile, it's like a hostile behavior. It's like somebody's, like, super aggressive or super aggressive. Um, yeah, this could be somebody who's potentially dangerous. With the King of Swords and the Five of Swords, this is somebody who likes to play a lot of mind games. Or this person, it's like you had to show them a side of you that you really didn't want to show them. Because this Five of Swords, this could be somebody who's being really annoying. But it's like they're doing it on purpose. Like this is somebody who's antagonizing you. Um... It's like they're being really mean, really hateful towards you. It's like, and this is somebody who can't control their thoughts either. I feel like their mind, they're like scatterbrained and all over the place. Like they can't think clearly. This is somebody who's confused. Somebody here who didn't told too many fucking lies. And like I said, with the page of swords reversed, this is somebody who was already involved in a connection with somebody when you met them you know this is somebody who's playing mind games lying gossiping pillow talking um telling lies with the intent to hurt or be malice or be mean towards someone it's like they purposely wanted to get you involved in this shit whatever this is 
like because the page of source reverse can indicate somebody who's immature um a lion a habitual pathological lion ass motherfucker who is intentionally telling lies because they want you to compete with another lover for them so like i said this could have been somebody who was already involved with someone when you met them and they were lying about it or playing the victim acting like they were getting so like done so wrong by somebody when really they were the one doing the fuck shit um ten of swords here can speak to domestic violence as well so i don't know if somebody here was attacked by this person or um damn near unalived with the ten of swords ten of swords is like that's an ending that's damn near not making it okay so i don't know if somebody out here is a victim of domestic violence from dealing with this person or it's like this person is just like, it's like they're going crazy. It's like you're seeing a side of this person that you've never seen before. I feel like whoever this divine feminine is, though, I feel like you block this person out. Like, real shit, you don't fuck with them. They can't come near you. Um, And I feel like this person is so focused on, they could be so focused on you or they're so focused on this divine feminine that they're not taking care of themselves. This may be somebody who needs to go see therapy, needs to go get help for their mental problems. But it's like they don't care about that because they're too busy trying to be revengeful with the five of swords here. It's like they're trying to win at all costs. Um, let me see. Yeah, this is somebody who's really angry and jealous. It's like you're seeing the worst side of somebody's personality here. This is somebody very mean, very hateful, very brutal, verbally aggressive, physically aggressive. Somebody potentially dangerous, whoever this is, and they're a complete fucking liar, man. <sighs> I don't know. I feel like somebody's like trying to heavily project this energy on you. It's like this person's like mad at you because they feel like you're the reason that they're blocked out of something. And it's like something is ending for them with this Ten of Swords and they can't cope with it because the truth is out. So they can't escape this. They don't know how to get out of it or it's not going into their favor. But uh, yeah, because the Page of Swords reverse could be like bad news. It's like this is somebody who tried to get you to compete with another lover, but they were lying about it, gossiping, pillow talking, telling you shit about another person. Like they were being victimized when they were the one actually um, victimizing someone else. Yeah, the Ten of Swords here being the overall energy, I feel like this is just dread. But like, somebody here is stressed the fuck out because they know the devil is coming to collect. It's like they owe this entity something because they they um sold their soul. And it's like now it's time to pay up. And I feel like they don't have anything to offer up other than their own life. So now somebody is like, they're just acting fucking crazy or... Yeah, Ten of Swords, like somebody's getting fucked up out here. Like this is like somebody having to atone for their sins. It's like somebody told too many lies. They did too much dirt. They were just doing way too fucking much. Yeah, I'm hearing swords out I mean sirens outside now. This could be a for some of you, not all of you, but this could definitely be a domestic situation that got really, really bad with the Ten of Swords here. Like it could be involving a knife or somebody that got stabbed or it's just like, it's like somebody's lover has truly turned on them. It's like they didn't accrue so much karmic debt so somebody has to be sacrificed and it's not this fucking divine feminine. This divine feminine is protected with the seven of wands. So th this, this, whoever this king of swords here and this other lover that they tried to get you to compete with divine feminine... It's like them, like this King of Swords or this other lover has to be sacrificed. One of them has to be the sacrificial lamb because they signed their name. They sold their soul to the devil. 
it's like they need a soul. The devil needs a soul to collect. So who's it going to be? This King of Swords reverse or this other lover who's not even showing up in his reading yet. The only people that are out here is this divine feminine who's heavily protected by the truth. Because the Ace of Swords is out here in the upright and then this crazy ass King of Swords reverse. But I feel like this, I feel like this King of Swords reverse is fighting and arguing with this goddamn karmic about which one of them is going to be the sacrifice. Like you or me, bitch. Like real shit. It's like somebody's lover has turned into their opposition for real. Like real shit. I feel like this King of Swords reverse is, is like battling with a karmic feminine energy. It's like they are really at odds. Or something here that got really, really bad. Now, I feel like somebody then lost their damn mind out here. Or, I pray to God that Cancer, you're just not single and you came across this psychotic person. But, if somebody here, mental health issues are really, really bad. It's like all these lies that they told is backfiring on them backfiring on them it's like they can't tell any more lies it's like the truth is out somebody's like mentally verbally abusive the king of swords reverse is a narc this could be somebody who's unintelligent very cold-hearted detached bitter um it's like they don't give a fuck about anything that's why i say it's somebody who's very cynical like very bitter about life very pessimistic they don't give a fuck about people or humanity or nobody not even themselves. And I feel like somebody out here is really being annoying. They're being aggressive. They're being jealous. It's like you're seeing the ugly side of someone's personality. Like real shit. Yeah, somebody definitely opened Pandora's box here. And that's what I'm saying. Like. Somebody's seen how ugly somebody can really get. I feel like you never expected to see this side of this person or something. This is definitely with the page of swords reverse. Somebody that tried to get you to compete with another lover. It's like they were gossiping and maliciously like telling you lies about their karmic partner to try to get you to compete, Divine Feminine. It's like they wanted you to go against this karmic partner. But I feel like this karmic partner could be in this Ten of Swords energy. They're either really hurt or they're really, really devastated by something. A betrayal, a back, a backstabbing, but somebody here was weird as fuck from the beginning. Ten of Swords is like a weird motherfucker. It's like that's somebody who cannot be trusted. Very deceitful. It's like somebody that will stab you in the back, betray you. It's like if you let somebody in the Ten of Swords energy get too close for you, close to you, they will do you dirty. Okay. It's like somebody out here didn't realize how bad somebody's mental health was. Because I feel like somebody here could be collapsing or they could be having a mental breakdown or something's going on with them. With the Ten of Swords reverse. Or like I said, this could be somebody recovering from domestic violence. And somebody could be trying to lie or cover it up or say they didn't have anything to do with what happened to this person. Or I don't know, something is... <laughs> It's like karma is out here. Like, but whoever I mean, whoever this divine feminine is, like I said, it could be Earth sign, a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. Uh, or they can have earth in their chart. Whoever this divine feminine is, this is somebody who's very grounded. Um, somebody who's very humble. Somebody who's very responsible, reliable. Somebody who's loyal. It's like this queen of pentacles knows that somebody's getting fucked up by this karma because the truth is out. Like this, I feel like whoever this divine feminine is, this... um. 
very grounded energy. She could be a herbalist. She could be into herbs and shit like that. Um, or she could be a good cook. It's like maybe she doesn't know that she's really like that good with herbs. It's like she just may be a good cook in the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? And usually her food turns out really well, but it's like she's unaware that yeah, you're a good cook because you, you know how to blend seasonings well. You know how to combine and concoct shit well. Herbalist, so somebody here may want to get into that. Like holistic practices or something. Or like I said, this person could already do that. For some of you, whoever this divine feminine is, I feel some of you, she... For some of you, she's aware. Others of you, she's not aware that she is would be good at that with the... Um, Queen of Pentacles, but this is somebody very stable. Um, they have a good career or they work from home or they have a solid job. They could be an entrepreneur. This could be somebody who's educated, very smart, responsible, reliable, good with their finances, good credit is the Queen of Pentacles energy. Somebody who's very stable, independent, self-sufficient here. Yeah, and I feel like somebody was blocked here from this divine feminine, this this psychopathic liar out here. Let's see. What's the messages here for cancer? This is somebody who's very narcissistic. Somebody who I'm hearing cold blooded. Ooh. This is that's why I say somebody is weird out here because that page of swords reverse that's somebody with poor communication skills. So this could be somebody who just like randomly stops talking for no reason. It's like they just go mute or they stop talking. And like somebody is just weird out here. Like, like why? Like you know, I I don't know somebody else. I don't I don't know what that not talking shit is about. This is somebody who just go cold on you or they use. Like, they ignore you as a manipulation tactic. Like, they just stop talking, like, to try to keep control of a situation here. Like, I don't know. Somebody's crazy. Let's see. literally feels some like this feels like somebody who's losing their fucking mind like real shit cancer i don't know who the fuck this person is to you okay yeah it says never after yeah this could definitely be somebody who's like spiraling out of control like real shit we got never after. It says regrets marrying the person they are with. Ooh, told you. It's like them and this karmic are going at it, okay? Because somebody has to be sacrificed here. It's not going to be this divine feminine. So I, I feel like they are like going at it with each other. It's just like, well, which which one of you motherfuckers is it going to be this king of swords reverse? Or is it going to be this karmic feminine energy? She ain't even, the karmic fem hasn't even showed up in his reading yet. It's only the divine feminine and this narcissistic, psychopathic ass man out here. So I don't know where this karmic fem at. I guess she's hiding <laughs> or something here. But karma is definitely hitting somebody ass hard. The truth is out with the Ace of Swords. This shit is being uncovered, it's being revealed, or is the truth is being told or spoken out. It's like there's clarity around a situation here. Hey, like, real shit. It says never after regrets marrying the person they are with should have never should have trusted their instincts living in regret and wants to leave but has difficulty. So, yeah, they're stuck somewhere that they don't want to be. They're stuck somewhere they don't want to be yet, and they're married to somebody they don't want to be with. OK, and then we got dating fiasco. It says reg regrets engaging in a short in a short or long term relationship with a partner long-term ramifications should have known better so yeah somebody's like i should have known better to then get to then to get involved with somebody like this it's like but it's it's too hard or too difficult difficult for them to leave now because they've already accumulated too much negative karma to just walk away from this it's like nah you got to pay your karmic debt back 
or you or this karmic feminine energy, one of y'all got to sacrifice yourselves in order to be set free. This reminds me of, um, this is what they're showing me. I don't know if y'all seen the last Saw movie that came out, but at the end of the movie, this karmic ass woman and this karmic ass man that were working together, they both got stuck in this room in one of those little games. And at the end of the day, one of them is like they had to go against each other in order to make it out of there. That's a, that's what they're showing me. I don't know if you've seen like the Saw series, like the horror movie. Um, but the last one that they made, it's like at the end, the karmic man and the karmic woman, they both were out there manipulating everybody else. They got stuck in a room together and they had to fight it out to the depths. It was like, it's either going to be you or it's going to be me, bitch. And it definitely ain't going to be me. So it's like they start going against each other. I feel like this is what this is. It's a psychotic karmic man out here who's battling it out with a karmic feminine energy. It's like they're both playing real dirty. It's like shit is getting ugly. It, like shit is getting out of control. And I feel like this divine feminine has been kept safe out of this shit because you didn't know how crazy somebody really was. You, I feel like whoever the divine feminine is that I'm talking to in this reading, I feel like you really had no idea how crazy somebody truly was like how close to the edge somebody truly was like this feels like snapped type energy but it feels like it's coming from a masculine energy yeah it says love six it says intense sadness or frustrations that arise from being unable to be with a loved one physically or emotionally Feels as if one can't move on. So yeah, this person is stuck on you, Divine Feminine, but they don't have access to you. They lost their privilege for however they tried to do something or some lies that they were out here telling. Trying to put you in competition with somebody else, lying about it, putting you in a um, compromising situation is why this person no longer has access to you. But it's like they're lovesick over you. It's like they're sad and frustrated. Is that sick and love, unable to concentrate, sleep, eat, or function in everyday activity, consumed by despair. Yeah, this person is in despair. They're feeling hopeless. They're feeling helpless. They're getting to a point where it's just like, fuck everything, fuck everybody, fuck this life. Like, somebody is really going through it. It says stuck in the past. It says remain stagnant and refuses to change. You use this past situations and her people as an excuse not to change or be open. That's this victim plan shit. It's like somebody keeps trying to blame their past or they keep trying to blame something that happened to them in the past as to why they did what they did or why, like, why they are where they are. But like, it's no excuse for that. You are responsible for your own behavior. So this is somebody who doesn't want to take accountability. They want to play victim. It's like somebody then did all this aggressive, telling all these lies, being annoying, being spiteful, being vindictive, getting involved in this illegal activity and doing all this weird shit. And now the shit is hitting the fan. They want to play victim. Are you fucking serious? It says moving forward, uses the past as a way to heal and prevents past traumas from intervening in connections or feelings. I feel like that's you. I feel like you didn't move forward and left this person stuck in the past where you found them. Because somebody out here is truly fucking crazy. Like, real shit. This could be a Pisces for some of you, too. Because this is also reminding me of that Pisces reading. Like, it could have been you. Like, I feel like something happened here. Like, real shit. I feel like somebody lost their mind or, or something. Yeah, we got different novels. So, yeah, you could be writing a new story in regards to your life. Some of you could be an author, Cancer. Or you can be writers, you write poetry or something, you're cancer, but it says a different novel. I feel like you're writing a new chapter in your life. You know what I'm saying? The chapter where you're in control. You know what I'm saying here? Or this could be this divine feminine doing this. It says outgrown each other, different mindset and ideologies, ideologies, different views about life and experiences, 
different life state stages. Yeah, so I feel like you experienced something with this person and I feel like it changed you. Like it made you look at life differently to where you no longer align with this person. Y'all don't see the world the same. This is somebody who didn't let life make them bitter. This is somebody who's really traumatized by their by their experiences and shit to where they don't view life positively at all. And I feel like you do. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of what whatever this was or whoever this person was, I feel like you've turned your life around or you've written a new story, a new chapter to where this person's not even included. It's like you've been protected, seven of wands from whoever the fuck this is. Like real shit. Yeah, I feel like you've outgrown each other. You have different mindsets, different beliefs here. And then we have different page. Doesn't want the same things anymore as once did. Different viewpoints on how to raise children and live their life. So yeah, I feel like for some of you, like I said, like when you first met this person and they were lying and doing all this gossiping and shit about how somebody was doing them, how their karmic partner was doing them and all this type of shit. I feel like you, you gave this person the benefit of the doubt. You feel sorry for them. You're like, oh my God, like why would that person do that to you? Blah, 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 blah. Only to find out that this person was the fucking culprit. Like, yeah, somebody here was crazy. Very manipulative. Like to play mind games and shit. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, and I feel like you don't even want this person anymore. You're just like, nah, I'm good. Like, I've seen how crazy your ass is. How you get down. How much of a liar you are. You open Pandora's box. And you've seen another side to this person that you can't unsee. It's just like, you're like, hell no. Nah. Somebody out here is like, hell no. Nah. Whoever this divine feminine is. What's the message for cancer? Yeah, somebody's just stuck in the past. They're love sick over you and they hate it where they are or who they're married to. But it's like, oh, well, bitch, that's your karma. Like, that's what you get, shit. Like, I don't know if this is somebody who grew up in survival mode where it's like all they know how to do is lie to get their way or to get what they want. It's just like, this is just a very dishonest person like, with mental health issues at that. Because I'm telling you, it's something about knives out here. Like, look at this. Yeah, this corner bitch could have stabbed them. Like, you see all them swords? I feel like cancer, if you've been stressed out in any type of way, acupuncture, maybe, um... Something you may want to try that may help with that. But wherever this divine feminine is, you may want to try acupuncture. Maybe you have. I don't know. Yeah, somebody feels like you you somebody feels like this karmic feminine energy cursed or hates them. And like I said, I don't see the karmic fem out here, but I can feel the energy. Is definitely slandering your name, bad mouthing you, trying to make you out to be this horrible person because they feel like you ruined something for them. Like, yeah, Sun and Car Reverse. Yeah, this is somebody who's definitely depressed. They may be unwell with the Sun Reverse. This could be Leo energy here. This could also be somebody who's faking their happiness, they're in their ego. Fake pretending like they're healthy, pretending like they're happy, pretending like nothing is wrong with them, but that may not be true. Yeah, I told you there she is, Queen of Swords reverse. Mm -hmm. King of Swords reverse to the Queen of Swords reverse, even though they're out in different decks. I feel like these are two people who have reached a point where they don't give a fuck about each other. 
Like real shit. They may not be on speaking terms with the King of Swords Reverse and the Queen of Swords Reverse. Queen of Swords Reverse is a uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. But like I said, they're both just in this. It's like two narcissists here. This is a karmic couple. And it's like now they're fighting it out to the depths because this karma is on their ass. It's like, which one of you are going to take the L for this? Basically. Because y'all had no business fucking with this divine person. So which one of y'all are going to take the loss? Like real shit. Queen of Swords reverse here. I feel like they're both liars. They're both detached. They're both narcissistic and like to play these sick ass mind games with each other. Like what the fuck is going on here? It's like... Yeah, the Temperance Reverse. Yeah, somebody here is pissed the fuck off. Sagittarius energy. Somebody here is so fucking mad with the Temperance Reverse. It's like they're getting into it with everybody. This could be somebody with addictions. They could do a lot of weed. They do a lot of shit in access. They overdo shit, overindulge. Um, could be just spend too much money, smoke too much weed, drink too much alcohol, snort too much coke. Like... Somebody here is very unbalanced and temperamental. It's like you never really know what you're going to get with this person or either one of their ass for that matter. Somebody can have an explosive temper here too as well. It's like this is somebody who stays into it with like friends, family, relatives. It's like they're always into it with someone. You know what I'm saying? It's like they, they're hard to get along with. It's like they don't have no inner peace. It's like they're out of touch with their own inner calm. It's like it's somebody who doesn't know how to calm themselves down and shit. Like somebody who is yeah, a magician here. And so somebody could be trying to manifest you back into their energy cancer. This would be a Virgo or a Gemini. Heavy on a Gemini, but it doesn't have to be. Yeah, lies are being exposed with the two of swords reverse. There's more information being revealed about this karmic couple. What they were doing, what they were into. Mm -mm. and i feel like somebody's trying to manifest you back into their energy somebody's like trying to call you in trying to get you to reach out to them cancer like this is somebody who do some real real fucked up shit and then they'll be like well look what you made me do to you or something like somebody here is a lunatic where they both are these two people are unhinged like the first the, um sun reverse here yeah the high priestess because mm -hmm. somebody had ill intentions so somebody could be sick out here with the sun reverse and the high priestess reverse. Something could be getting exposed about this bitch. A secret is coming out here. Yeah, because the last reading I got for you, um, last reading I got for you, Cancer, was somebody lied about a pregnancy. It's like they lied about this high priestess reverse. This is somebody who's very duplicitous, very two-faced, um, very manipulative can't be trusted it's somebody with ill intent it's like they use their spiritual gifts to manipulate and abuse people or like i said it's just somebody with heavy like they need mental health issues like this could be somebody who or they have mental health issues this could be somebody who 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 practices dark work with the high priestess reverted somebody who doesn't listen to their intuition at all it's like something going on with this person's fertility or it could have been somebody had an abortion out here pisces energy you know i heard the sirens outside yeah i because I, I, I was picking that up on the last reading that somebody here was lying about a pregnancy like real shit. I feel like somebody was like lying about the time frame of a pregnancy. Like it's something here where somebody like got pregnant or 
it's like either they they were pregnant and they didn't know who the father of the kid actually belonged to or they said they were pregnant and never never was really pregnant at all with the high priestess reverse. You hear those siren? I'm telling you, like something is alarming here. Like somebody needs to be aware. Well, that's the high priestess reverse. Ace of Wands reversed. Mm-hmm. Because somebody here is like turned the fuck off by this bitch. It's like, ew, bitch. Like, I'm not turned on by you. I don't find you attractive. You make my dick soft. Like, the Ace of Wands reversed. Like, somebody has no interest in this High Priestess reverse anymore. That's Ace of Wands reverse. flip over yeah the page of cups reverse yeah because this could be somebody very extremely childish page of cups reverse is somebody who's a liar an attention seeker is somebody who does like shit for attention page of cups reverse is somebody who is very jealous vindictive obsessive um this could even be somebody with childhood wounds childhood trauma they could have suffered some sort of sexual abuse as a child. This could be somebody who's very promiscuous. Hold on, y'all. And that's crazy. Like, while I'm doing this reading, like... My boyfriend just told me it's like a story that just hit the news about some man killing his wife. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, page of Cups reverse, but this is somebody who's very um very jealous, very spiteful, very vindictive. It's like they do shit for attention, very childish, whiny. Um, they're a liar. Page of Cups reverse. Um this the page of Cups reverse can also um be somebody who's obsessed with like meditation and divination it's like they obsess and meditate on something so much to where they're not even living in reality anymore i'm telling you it's like somebody out here they focus so much on whatever this is that they don't even pay attention to their real life this person is not concerned about their own health or their own well-being because they're too busy too busy obsessing over whatever the fuck this is like real shit it can even be more than one karmic involved because we got the original karmic couple out here with the king of swords to the queen of swords reverse and then there's a high priestess reverse that got played by this king of swords reverse so there's like a messy ass third party but somebody out here is not taking this shit lightly like real shit Lost the page of cups reversed. It's like somebody's like very jealous. They really they want somebody's attention, but they feel some type of way that somebody's not interested or somebody's like turned off by them. But like that's that's somebody's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because after lying about a pregnancy and whatever the fuck this is, yeah, look at that three of cups on the bottom of the deck. Told you something is messy here. Cancer, this could be involving you because Three of Cups is your energy. Yeah, Empress Reverse. This is that fake divine feminine energy. Somebody out here was trying to mirror a divine feminine's energy, but that shit did not work, bitch. We know you're fake. We know you're not a real divine feminine. You're a copycat. You're very insecure, very dusty. Like, Empress Reverse, like, bitch, you cannot mimic a real divine feminine energy. I don't give a fuck how hard you try. Like, bitch, it, it doesn't work. Somebody who, here's insecure. They're a terrible mother. They look busted and disgusted. Very crusty. This could be somebody who's like, if they got any type of plastic surgery and shit, this could be somebody whose shit is botched. It's like they look a fucking mess. With the Empress Reverse, they don't really take care of themselves or their well-being or their kids. It's just all about this damn man. It's like, somebody here is like...
That's what I'm telling you. But whoever the divine feminine was, that's why I said I feel like this this narcissistic ass man goes around pillow talking about this queen of swords reverse that he was in a relationship with because he's unhappily married and he hates this bitch and whatever else. But like he played this game with the wrong bitch with a high priestess reverse a bitch who was all who was crazy too like you know what i'm saying like mm, mm, what the fuck is wrong with these people bro it's a page of cups reverse yeah i thought like this divine feminine is free nine of cups she's free from this situation happy getting something that she wants or she's happily single here yeah this three of cups reverse like so you know who these people are cancer or they know who you are yeah because the truth is out it's like there is clarity it's like we got names to faces out here what the fuck finds the page of clips reverse yeah you know who all was involved yeah somebody knows that trouble is coming here this came out in who reading was it i don't know if it was taurus or libra might have been Libra when I was saying um, out of the frying pan and into the fire. Yeah, somebody here, it's like they're trying to get out of a situation or they're trying to escape, but it, there's no escaping this. It's just like shit was already burning and sizzling. This person finna jump straight into the fire. It's more trouble ahead for this person. They know they're in trouble. They know that he can't escape something or get out of something. They keep trying to lie with the page of swords reverse and it's not working. told you this high priestess reverse is the one that's being sacrificed but i don't feel like she going for this shit hangman energy yeah two of wands reverse yeah because somebody here they were indecisive it's like they can never make a decision or they can never choose a different path out of insecurity and self-doubt and comfortability so it's like somebody just stayed put. Like, why's the Queen of Swords reverse here? Yeah, Nine of Swords reverse. Yeah, I feel like somebody doesn't give a fuck. Okay, it's like, oh well. Yeah, somebody here doesn't give a fuck what happens to this karmic couple or these people with the Nine of Swords reverse. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, because it's a missed opportunity. It's like somebody's not getting another chance with this Divine Feminine. Like, this shit is over with. That's the Ace of Pentacles reverse. Oh, I feel like I want to sneeze. Are the Ace of Pentacles reverse? Yeah, somebody lost their their opportunity or the opportunity is missed. Yeah, Ten of Wands here. Now somebody stressed the fuck out. They're burdened, trying to carry this this energy. Like somebody could be having to move here too. They got to do it by themselves. They don't have any help. Yeah, seven of wands here. It's like somebody's lost complete control and respect in a situation. They're not protected either. It's like they've lost control. They lost, lost respect. This is somebody who folded. They didn't stand on business. They didn't stand up for what was right because the page of swords reverse is not speaking the truth or not speaking up when you should, when you know information, but you're not saying nothing. So this King of Swords reverse could have known that this divine feminine was being attacked by this Queen of Swords and he didn't say anything. He just let the lie keep going or he initiated the lie. Seven of Wands reverse. It's like somebody here is embarrassed.
Yeah. The three of cups reverse. Yeah, this shit is just way too messy. It's gossiping, hoes grouping together and all this weird ass shit. Yeah, Knight of Wands reverse. Yeah, and there could be gossip about who gave somebody something too. Because the Knight of Wands reverse is community dig. That's, that's the Sagittarius energy. Somebody who just sleeps the fuck around. Or somebody could have had this Knight of Wands. Could have had a threesome with, with some bitches. They could have had a threesome with a group of witch bitches or something. These people could do spell work. Yeah, the lovers in a three of cups reverse. Yeah, somebody could have had a threesome with somebody. With their homegirl or their friend or something here with this Knight of Wands. Could have been a Gemini, a Cancer, and a Sagittarius or something. I don't know. And I feel like shit just got messy after that. Because the Knight of Wands is somebody who's just promiscuous as fuck. It's like they can't control their sexual urges. This is somebody with a temper problem. Very promiscuous. They're a seducer. They're a charmer. But this is somebody who's very volatile. Or they're known to try to intimidate or bully people. This is somebody who's a show off. They do too much. Yeah, the world car reverse. Yeah, it's like they're repeating a cycle. But it's like way worse this time around. Like real shit. Very jealous. Why is the Knight of Wands reverse here? Yeah, six of wands, but somebody is victorious out here. I feel like this nine of wands, this knight of wands reverse is mad at this could be a promiscuous ass female as well, a Sagittarius bitch. Because the knight of wands is a female on this card, but male or female, gender doesn't matter. But the six of wands here, I feel like this six of wands is that that um the six of wands energy is that divine feminine. She overcame something or she made it out. That's what I'm saying. She's successful at something. She has a platform or she does something on stage or she's just victorious. You know, people fuck, fuck with whoever this queen of wands of right is. Especially if somebody is like a paraplegic out here. Somebody could be handicapped in some sort of way. Or they thought somebody was going to be handicapped by this situation. I thought the, whoever this karmic couple is, they thought that they were going to make this uh, divine feminine a scapegoat for whatever the fuck this is. They were like, these people could have had a threesome together and now somebody's claiming that they, they were raped or sexually assaulted by this couple. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on here, Cancer. Like, what the fuck? Why is the temperature worse? It's like everybody trying to blame each other now. Like, no, it was you. No, it was you. No, you did it. She said that. It was a bunch of bullshit. Why is the symptoms reverse? We got three of wands. Yeah, this is his divine feminine. There's distance. This could be happening at a distance. Like, whoever this divine feminine is, she already turned her back on the situation. She's moving forward. It's just like, she don't have anything to do with this. Like, real shit. Yeah, so Cancer, you could be traveling. Yeah, we got the King of Swords to try to pop out. But Cancer, you could be traveling or moving or you're just at a distance. That's the three of wands here. Or you could have been out of town. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. It's like you're putting work into your craft or something that you do or you're at work. I feel like you've been focused and minding your business, Cancer. Like, you don't have shit to do with whatever the fuck this is. I feel like you could have went down with these people had you stuck around or had you not blocked this person. Yeah, four wands. Yeah, that's arguing and fighting in this home conflict. Somebody could be getting kicked out. Four wands reverse. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, the devil. Told you this is somebody who is toxic as fuck. And I feel like you cut this person off. Capricorn energy. It's like you remove this person from your energy so they don't have access to you anymore. They can't control you or manipulate you or influence you in no type of way. Yeah, the two of cups reverse. Yeah, this is somebody who you were incompatible with. It's just like you and this person. Like this person could have been emotionally abusive. Or try to in intimidate you or bully you or scare you or put fear in you or something with the two of cups reverse. Yeah, five of swords reverse. Yeah, somebody feels defeated. This shit didn't backfire on somebody with the five of swords reverse. Mm-mm. I feel like you're out here winning. It's like you're shining, Cancer. You're getting a lot of attention here. Because I feel like these weird ass hoes, this, this high priestess reverse and this queen of swords reverse tried to come for you over this lion ass nigga. Like, bitch. It's like, ain't nobody competing over dick but y'all. Like, you hoes are sister, sister wives now. King of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, this is somebody who's very 3D, very selfish, very materialistic, all about themselves. This could be somebody who sells drugs or they make money illegally in some type of way here. Very arrogant, egotistical, very disloyal. They're a cheater and a liar. They're very 3D. They have no connection with spirit at all. Yeah, Five of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, this person could be trying to come out of the, uh, maybe on the Capricorn energy. This person could be trying to come out of the cold with you or they need some type of help from you financially with the Five of Pentacles here. Yeah, Five of Wands reverse. Yeah, Justice reverse. I told you somebody's going to jail here or they could be. With the justice reverse, it's definitely a Libra justice reverse with the king or Capricorn or a Pisces or a Leo. Somebody here is crazy. Like real shit. Or an Aquarius. Somebody's getting really good, really bad karma. They feel like this shit isn't fair. Or like I said, somebody is getting blamed for being associated with these people. Like it's like somebody feels like the justice reverse is not fair that I'm receiving some sort of backlash because of this karmic couple and shit. But it's just like you should have never took this offer from the devil. You should have never got yourself involved with these people or whatever the fuck this is. Like doing all this wild shit, having threesomes with these people. Like what the fuck? Yeah, two of cups reverse. Yeah, and the Ten of Cups here. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you could have found some sort of joy or happiness here. And like I said, somebody is trying to offer this Page of Pentacles to you. Let's be friends. Let's start over. Let's reconnect. Let's be cool. Or they could be trying to bring you a gift because they see you successful now in something with the Six of Wands. But I wouldn't take whatever the fuck that is. Lots of... Um, or even if it's an apology and an offer for them to start over, it's like, no, somebody wants to control you. It's like they don't. This is somebody who doesn't respect your boundaries. It's like they're penny pension. This is somebody who's stingy and cheap. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, and this weird ass, this fake ass divine feminine is around a baby mama or whatever the fuck this is. Yeah, five of cups. Yeah, she ain't got no remorse for this person either. Yeah, this person wants to talk to you. Queen of Wands energy. But it's like, it ain't shit to talk about. You can really get the fuck on. Why is the magician here? Yeah, chariot reverse. There's your energy, Cancer. You're showing up as the chariot reverse and the three of cups reverse. So you out here being messy or whatever the fuck this is, Cancer. On some low vibe shit. Somebody could be having car trouble out here as well. 
or something's going on with their vehicle or it needs to be repaired. The cherry verse, you can have a white car, gray or silver, black or blue. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Yeah, this could be you, Cancer, that's feeling like betrayed, not able to cope with this ending. Like this could be something that's already over, but somebody is like, it's like they can't accept this this ending. Like how they got betrayed before something was over here. Yeah, this is some nasty work right here. I don't know what a motherfucker was doing, but woo child. Why is the uh, magician here? My bad, y'all. It's my boyfriend telling me what happened to this man and just killed his wife. That's crazy that he texting me that shit while I'm doing y'all reading. I'm telling you, somebody lost their mind out here. Somebody needs to be careful. Somebody is like dangerous. They have a really violent, dark, cold side to them where they don't give a fuck. Okay? It's like, bitch, we both can go. I can take us both the fuck up out of here. Like, ooh. Somebody who is crazy. How's the Ten of Pentacles here and the Ten of Cups here? Somebody could have manifested. Whoever this Divine Feminine is, she could have manifested a Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles relationship. Yeah, look at that. Somebody still gossiping, still talking shit, still lying, still trying to do spell work. That shit is not working anymore. Somebody here needs to give it the fuck up. Oh, my God. My boyfriend said he killed he killed his wife and her body is like laying on the front porch and like they the i'm talking about this is happening right now in real time in my city and like the cops have this dude like surrounded in front of the house like that's hella crazy that's the page of swords reverse so i don't know like divine feminine whoever the divine feminine is you could be hearing about this going on with this karmic couple here hearing about something crazy happening to them yeah not a pentacles but somebody's a loser they're a bum they're a user a slob it's somebody who's boring and materialistic always trying to act like they're getting money and shit but really they use bitches like fuck out. they gotta live off of other people and shit it's like somebody living on somebody's couch and shit yeah not of swords and then they ghost you and shit with the not of swords gemini energy It's like somebody here is just crashing out. Yeah, moon car reverse. Yeah, secrets. These lies, these secrets are being exposed. And then both of both of these, I don't know what side of this shit you want, Cancer, but both of your cards are showing up in the reverse. Moon reverse, the chariot reverse, and the three of cups is reverse. So there's some low vibe ass cancers out here. I don't know what the fuck y'all doing, but y'all definitely need to fix y'all energy. Like real shit. I mean, these lies are coming out, honey. Woo woo. What's this moon card reverse? Somebody that, th that thought they were going to take this secret deep to their grave. It, nah. Somebody thought they hid this secret in the deep depths of their subconscious. That shit is being exposed. Moon card reverse here. Yeah, Queen of Wands here. Yeah, this is that Divine Feminine here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This Divine Feminine can have fire or earth in her chart. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Yeah, Nine of Wands. Yeah, and somebody's like pissed off. <laughs> somebody's just pissed the fuck off at this Queen of Wands. Because it's just like, bitch, it's like you got whoever this Queen of Wands is, this Divine Feminine. You got somebody triggered. Like somebody's projecting evil eyes, sending you negative energy. It's like they're meditating on you and sending you these evil, nasty vibes <laughs> with the nine of wands here. It's like they're pissed the fuck off. Yeah, seven of swords reverses. They got caught up in their lives. They're being exposed. They didn't got caught being lied, being a liar, being sneaky, trying to get away with something, trying to hide evidence I'm hearing. Yeah, detectives been watching this person. 
or it could be a private in investigator that was paid to watch this person and they're being caught. Yeah, somebody stressed the fuck out. Yeah, the, the illusion is over. Look at that. Three of swords here. Somebody is stressed the fuck out. Look at that. Seven of Cups reverse is a reality trait. The truth is out. The secrets are being exposed. Yeah, look at that divine feminine, period. Yeah, secret accounts. I told you somebody's like watching you from secret accounts or dummy accounts. They're watching you from accounts they try they trying to act like they don't use anymore, but they're spying on this divine feminine. Yeah, mirroring. I told you. It's this weird ass bitch. Empress reverse trying to copy somebody's energy, trying to mirror a, a real divine feminine. That like, bitch, that shit is played out. Fuck on. Yeah, losing sleep, worry, replaying events, and thinking about you. Mm hmm. Yeah, we got blocked. Told you this person was blocked. They can't call you, text you, send you a message, nothing. Yeah, told you, because they got karmic ties to a crazy bitch. I'm telling you, there's something here about knives. It's like a bitch out here likes knife plays. She likes to stab motherfuckers or something. Yeah, fake busy and jackass yeah so this is somebody who's trying to pretend to be busy so they can stay away from this bitch or something here but mm -mm, this is crazy yes it's signs red flags intuitions dreams and clarity led yeah you got downloads about this person in your dream state mm -hmm, and your intuition you have clarity on this person you figured them out yeah look at that karma it says spinning the block drive by spying and quick curious over some of you this person could be driving past your house and we got karma, drama, endings, loss, mental breakdown, and firestorm. I told you this karma is turning somebody ass up. Ooh, we. Yeah, it's a bitch out here that's fed up. And look at these legal matters, divorce, property, criminal, paternity, child support, traffic. I feel like this person got all this shit. They got child support issues, traffic tick, tick, ticket issues. Their license could be revoked or they got a criminal background or just all type of shit or they know if they get divorced from this karmic person that they're gonna have to deal with all of this bullshit i told you paternity is out here somebody doesn't know if a kid is theirs or if a kid even exists because a bitch was lying about being pregnant yeah it says goodbye <laughs> period okay cancer this is being reading i gotta go please like share subscribe comment all that good shit and i'll holler at you later peace